Kevin Mayo, the amazing beer drinking man. And today we're doing Southern Tears 2X IPA, their double IPA. They say it's not quite an imperial, but it's definitely a double IPA. Um, don't know too much about Southern Tier. I know they've got a good reputation. Uh, they're from Lakewood, New York. They started in 2002, and they've had to expand a couple of times already because their beers are being extremely well reviewed. They do make a, a thing here brewed with four variety of hops and three types of malt. And other than that, they don't give you too much uh, information even on the website, what types of hops or what type of malt they're using. It is 8.2% ABV, and that's all we really know about it. I know we've been doing a lot of IPAs lately. Some of them are pretty good. Um, they tend to be very bitter, as we've talked about in the past. And, uh, I don't know, let's give it a crack. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. Please go to my blog and check that out. www.amazingbeardrinkingman.com And uh, let's go ahead and give it a pour. Got that bright orange, typical IPA color on it. Just a slightly off-white head. It's not pure white, but it's not much darker than that. I wouldn't even call it beige. A little bit of haze. Might be a chill haze, just to, hasn't been out of the fridge that long. Not excessive carbonation. Fairly nice looking IPA. And I look at it again when I was pouring, it looked orange. It's actually closer to yellow when I can see it more in the light. So, a little bit yellow for an IPA. So, let's give it the aroma. Typical IPA. You're getting that hop bitterness. You can smell the hops right in it. Hints of pine. I'm picking up another aroma and I just can't put my tongue on it. Got a little bit of the sweet malt on underlying. Mangoes? I'm trying to think, you know, something like a sweeter fruit, not the typical citrus that you would smell in an IPA, but something a little sweeter than that. Let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we got. Yeah, first thing is the malt. Fairly sweet malt. We're getting the hot. You know, I can get that sticky oily from the hops, from the resin and the hops. It's not extremely bitter. I am getting a bitter aftertaste. But not the traditional hop bomb, for lack of a better word. It's not, you're not getting that hop assault. Yeah, see, as it settles... As the hop oils settle, I am tasting it in the back of my throat now, the bitter in the back of my throat. But that, on the back of the tongue, you know, it didn't really get that severe bitter. I see the amazing beer drinking cat over here. She might make an appearance. Share, share. Let's back to the beer. Extreme, this is an extremely well-balanced IPA. I like it a lot. Like I said, malt sweetness. I'm not really picking up some of the more fruity flavors that you get with the big Imperial Double IPAs. But, kind of that in between, not a regular IPA, not an Imperial IPA. They really do it. They did a nice job on it. A really good beer, very drinkable. I think you like it. I think if you've stepped up from some lagers and some pilsners, uh, maybe even had a couple of IPAs, especially if you've done a traditional IPA that's more malty and a little bit less bitter, this would be a nice, this would be a nice stepping stone getting you towards a big double IPA with the big, like I said, you get the bitter aftertaste, but it's not the real bitter, you know, uh, like biting into a grapefruit type. Very good beer. I think you like it a lot. Give it a try. Uh, rating, 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 rating. Don't think it's quite a five, but I feel like I'm downgrading it out of four. So we're going to give it a 4.5 caps, four and a half caps out of our six cap rating system. 
Until next time, this is the Amazing Bad Drinking Man.